Welcome back everybody to Homesteading Barkroom Style. I'm your host, Thomas. So, what am I into today? Product review time. Um, recently, well, about a month, two months ago, I guess, we, or I, needed to get a cordless stapler because, let's face it, the air ones are great, so on and so forth, but cordless handy as can be right <clears throat> after doing a little bit of looking around I find at the big blue store <laughs> box store uh, they had a couple couple different models there available and Harbor Freight had a few models available and when I went to the local Harbor Freight they didn't have the one that I was particularly interested in there available um, in stock so we went on over to the big blue store where I bought this thing uh, arrow brand right shoots t50 staples and according to the documentation in the box the unit is supposed to shoot 500 uh, shots, right? And it says it right on the front of it. 500 shots, every full charge. Shoots genuine T50 Staples Arrow brand. So, okay, no problem, right? So I get my staples, and what I'm doing with it is putting up insulation overhead, right? Uh, working on a little building out here, me and my son, putting insulation overhead, putting it in the walls, you know, just generally getting it ready for finishing. So we thought, okay, it'd be nice to, to have a, you know, cordless stapler. And after doing some research, I said, okay, well, you know, there's two brands. There's one at Harbor Freight. There's one at Lowe's. Harbor Freight didn't have the one that I wanted. Basically, it was supposedly to have gotten 5,000 shots per charge. Came with a bigger battery set, too. <laughs> so, of course, that matters. Um, so, I get it. It's lithium-ion, 3.6-volt battery in the thing. And comes with this little dinky charger. I mean, the charger isn't, you know couple inches in length and inch and a half in width and you know long cable about six foot long so pick it up 70 bucks right good brand arrow brand so after getting it home i go through the process charge it up now these things are not um what i would say easy to understand as far as their charge their charging cycle because i charged it up all right this is the unit right here right here on top of the thing is a little light supposed to be when it's charging red flashing when it's full charge it goes green when the unit's ready to use at full charge it goes green right there's the charge port on the thing comes with an on and off switch as well which is awesome right doesn't deplete your battery when you're not using it so we get the thing i charge it up it turns green within 15 minutes it's like oh okay cool we go over here and we start fiddling around with it we shoot off no, I don't know, 20 shots or so, the light starts flashing red. It's like, what the heck? So afterwards, I was like, well, what's that mean? Come to find out, it means that the battery needs charging. Okay, so we put it back on charge. Pull it back off charge when it goes green. Hit four or five shots and it does it again. I'm like, what the heck? So I said, okay, well, let's do this old school style. Let's leave the thing on there. 
and every time it goes green, I'll disconnect the plug and plug it back in and see what happens. Well, I can tell you what happens. The little light goes off, of course, from green, and when you plug it back in, it goes back to flashing red. Okay, well that's weird. And you do this over and over and over, right? And then finally, at some point, when you do that, it no longer goes off green. It actually stays green when you plug it back in. It might flash once or twice red and it goes immediately to green. Well, what does that mean? Well, that actually means it's at full charge. Um, the charging controllers in these or in the Power Pack 1 are flawed. They don't work like they're supposed to. Uh, just straight up, they don't work properly. So it takes multiple times unplugging, plugging back in to get a full charge on the thing. So what happens? Okay, so maybe it's, you know, power pack, whatever. Flawed. I can get around that. Will it do the job? Will it shoot the 500 rounds that it's supposed to shoot after it has a truly full charge on it. So, we tested it. And I don't know if you can tell or not. We've got scrapes, bruises, scratches, a little bit of this, that, and the next thing all over the poor thing from use. My son takes it out there as he's the one doing the insulation and he puts it to the test. Now we were shooting five sixteenths inch staples, right? It'll shoot quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths, and half inch. Won't do nine sixteenths, but it'll do those. And we were using five sixteenths, which is, you know, almost as small as you can get. Shouldn't have required a lot of excess juice to do so. I mean, if they're saying it, it'll shoot 500 rounds, I expect it to shoot 500 rounds of the largest staple they say it'll shoot, right? Well, he puts it to the test. He got a little over 500 shots out of it putting up insulation using the 5 sixteenths inch staples t50s so okay great how long did it take me to recharge this thing properly 24 hours coming in here because he had run it dead when he brought it in I hit it popped it up against a piece of wood it drove one staple it wouldn't drive another <laughs> so he'd run it dead dead I said okay I put it on charge and I went back and started down that road again to get it recharged every time I turned and unplugged while it was green, it'd go back red, and did that over and over and over the course of 24 hours. Finally, one time, I plug it in, and it stayed green when I plugged it back in. I said, oh, it's finally recharged. Handle weight, right? It weighs, I don't know, a pound or so. Not real heavy, not to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a normal guy. Ain't great big or nothing. Um... Will it drive the staples? All right, so what you see here now <laughs> is an old piece two before, right? Um, will it shoot the staple? Will it properly 
drive the staple, right? That's what everybody really wants to know is do I have to go back behind this thing and tap the staple in with a hammer, right? Because nobody wants to do that. You just want to shoot the staple, make sure it's nice and flush, go on to the next one, right? Well, let's find out. Green light, all right? The unit will not fire until this right here is pressed in. Will it rapid fire? No. So you can't just bump it, right? You have to bump, shoot, bump, shoot. So push it in. Can you see that? Probably not. See if I can do this one for fun. Yeah, there we go. So, can you see, see it, there's no sticking out of those at all. Those are run almost exactly flush with the thing. See the knot? Let's see how good it is with a knot. Drives it almost flush into a knot as well. I mean, as far as power is concerned, the unit has the ability to put these things in like you wouldn't believe. Um, the and again on off switch so how do you load it right flip that thing down little blue thing comes out your slide disappears staples in down shooting in down pop it back together you're good to go it will hold you know how your Aero brand staples are in the box. It'll hold a full one, full strip at a time. Maybe a little more. I've not tested, but I do know that it'll hold a full strip at a time. And that's all there is to it. Again, quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, half inch. Shows you right here on the edge of the unit what size staples it will shoot. So, down to the last question. Would I purchase this again? Short answer, yes. For the money that I paid for it, am I satisfied with it? I would pay the money for it again, knowing what it's capable of. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, do so, please. Um, and we'll get back to you on another video soon. Uh, we'll be doing some flooring videos uh, real soon. Pulling out joists, rebuilding floor from foundation up. Uh, the old house here is in need. So, y'all have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time around.